let's launch the aws redshift cluster sign up to aws survey services and click on redshift you will arrive on the screen just click on that quick launch cluster so this cluster is free for 2 months and you i think this is enough to practice and master redshift once you click on that quick launch cluster you will arrive on the screen you select dc2 large which is covered under free tier and select the compute nodes to 1 and select the cluster identifier as redshift cluster 1 and create a username and password confirm the password and make a note of the password the default port for redshift is 5439 so make a note of this port we may need these details to configure the redshift connection from our ide once you click on that launch cluster then the cluster will be creating by redshift no need to take care of anything everything is taken care by redshift so once the cluster is created you can see the screen the cluster status will be available then click on that redshift hyphen cluster hyphen 1 the blue colored one on the screen you can see the endpoint details your username your availability zone in my case it is us east hyphen 2a you can also see the other jdbc and odbc connections once you scroll down now we need to configure a vpc security group in order to allow this cluster to be accessed by our ide this is a virtual private connection group which we create on aws services let's see how to configure that in amazon redshift console in the navigation pane choose clusters once you have chosen clusters then choose example cluster to open it and make sure you are on the configuration tab under cluster properties for vpc security groups choose your security group after your security group opens in amazon ec2 console choose the inbound tab choose edit and enter the following then choose save type enter the type as custom tcp rule in the edit inbound rules as in step 3 in the screenshot shown and protocol as tcp and port range as 5439 and source select the source as custom ip 0.0.0.0/0 so this will be available for you to connect from ide you can copy the jdbc url like as i shown on the cluster screen once you scroll down you have this jdbc and odbc urls you just copy them and save it in a notepad ides there are various ides available i prefer to choose the sql workbench j the first one in the screenshot you can go ahead with whatever you are familiar with and if you are new i would recommend to go with sql workbench j configuring the sql workbench j just select any of the connection name and select the driver amazon redshift if you don't have the amazon redshift driver download it from the website and enter the url which you copied from the previous screen during your launched cluster enter the username and password and test the connection and you are good to connect to database and create schemas and tables on redshift you can test if the connection is created or not by writing any one of the sample queries you can query the inbuilt tables which are called system tables where you have details of tables you can type select star from information and square schema dot columns to get the columns list and ensure your connection is working so the details will come like this it will list all the system tables 